So I found out how to do something pretty cool, and I thought what I'd do is I'd video it for you guys. It's how to read the Motronic error codes on the BMW Motronic uh, engine control system. Now, this is a 96 uh, or 1100 RT, and it's given me a bit of problems when I go over 3000 revs. So, in order to read the codes, uh, you can either use the diagnostic device, or you can just use an ordinary analog voltmeter. You have to use an analog voltmeter because the digital ones don't react quickly enough. So all you do is, if you take this, which is the diagnostic port, connect the positive side of the voltmeter to pin 1, connect the negative side to a suitable earth. I've used the side stand down here, which is the most exposed piece of metal. Then connect a second wire here, which is this one, also uh, to the earth. And what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to earth it here for about five seconds, and that will trigger the Motronic to give out the results. The way it does it is, it does it with voltage drops. So as the pin drops down, it will count out uh, the error codes. And that's it. So turn on the ignition. And you'll see the voltage is now registering. So simply take your ground cable and touch it towards this and you'll see the voltage is dropping down. Then if you take it away, the voltage shoots up, drops back down, goes back up and now it will start counting in tips. One, 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 two, three. One, two, three. So that's error code 1133. And then it'll just keep repeating it. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then it goes into a sort of a pause mode where this will sit for a minute back up and then it'll start counting again and it will keep doing that until you reset it now 1133 is the default code when the Motronic has been reset which I've done by pulling uh, pin 5 one, two, three, four, five. fuse number 5 here to set it but before that it was giving me 1215 which is the throttle butterfly sensor has a problem with it so I think I may have found the problem with my bike all by using an analog voltmeter and a bit of wire Thank you.